So you go home, you see her for the very first time. You're seeing your husband, your spouse for the very first time. You open the door, it comes to your mind. What the maximum potential of this moment? Five, four, three, two, one, yes! So Courtney's a very special person. He graduated as a lawyer wow. in Ontario. Wow. And after you article, pass all your exams, then you get, quote, called to the bar, which means you're authorized to be a lawyer and to practice law in Ontario. And there's quite a few people who do that. But there's an extraordinarily small number of people who then go to another jurisdiction, and he went to New York State, wrote the exams, got called to the bar in New York State, so he's approved to be a lawyer in Ontario and New York. Wow. wow. That's good. And then he went to Jamaica, and then he went to two other Caribbean islands. Huh. Wow. He is one of the few lawyers in the world wow. called to the bar or approved to be a lawyer in five cool. different jurisdictions. Wow. 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 something else. I'm on top of the game. Must be something else. You know what I did? What? what? I took two years off. Wow. Yeah. I went on a sabbatical. Wow. I started here in North America and I studied everything I could about the human potential movement. Read the books. I went to South America. I'm out in the Amazon. Wow. wow. Anybody ever drunk ayahuasca? <laughs> wow. Not lately. Congo? Not lately. Not lately? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to Asia. Wow. I meditated for weeks at a time. Wow. Silence, no words. Literally traveled the world. Somewhere in that journey, something amazing happened to me. Uh, I'm not sure it can be described with words. I try to do it 
I've written about it. But it best described, in my opinion, by analogies. The way I look at it is, while I was practicing law, yes, there were these material accomplishments, there were these accolades, there was approval from the community. Parents were pleased, everybody pleased. The reputation was there. But I considered that as being a law firm. I was simply accumulating. I describe it that I was psychologically asleep. What do I mean by psychological sleep? Yes, I could go through the motions. I was programmed to be a lawyer. I was programmed to be the perceived success in our society was simply adding more programs. And of course, I was an achiever, so I kept adding more and more. But accumulating to be approval. That's my lava stage. On the journey, I decided there has to be something more to life. Willing to give it all up. I call this the warrior stage. I was willing to stand alone, to be on my own feet for the first time in my life, to separate myself from the tribe, and to go deep inside of me to discover what is it really to be a human being. What does it mean really? What is this thing called being a human being? Yes, I know how to do, I know how to act, I know how to think, I know how to feel, but what is this distinction being? And I was willing to explore that. It takes a lot of courage to explore it. I call this the warrior stage. And it actually did take a while. But in that exploration, something even more magical happened, which is even more harder to describe. Somewhere along the journey, a quietness occurred, a peace occurred, a serenity occurred. The only word I can use to describe it is a metamorphosis, a transformation. I was simply, simply, completely not the same human being. I can't really put my finger on it and say it happened this particular time or this particular place, but I felt it inside of me. And something else even magically occurred. People around me started feeling it too. So even people I was studying with or meditating with, could then turn to me and says, wow, what is this experience you have and share this with me? I would be traveling in the airport not saying anything and someone would come and say, share with me what's happening. And I started sharing. Out of that sharing, my life shifted. And I decided that this is something I couldn't run from anymore. This is something I had to face directly and I started an organization called the Global Institute for Freedom, Transformation, and Enlightenment. Wow. wow. Woo! Simple acronym GIFT, G I F T E, or MyGIFT.com. It's a gift, in my opinion, for all humanity. All of us have access to this gift, every human being on the planet have access to this gift. Through my life work now is to show others a path, a pathway towards this gift. To show that this is actually possible. And yes, you don't even have to go on a two year slide around the world. You can stay where you are as long as you are committed to the process. The first step in the process is what I call an awakening. What is this awakening? What, what does it mean to be awake? I said I was psychologically asleep, and yet I had all the material things. I had it, I it perceived, I had it, but yet I was psychologically asleep. To be awakened is to recognize that there's something higher than the doing, the feeling, the speaking, the acting. I distinguish that as our being part of ourselves. 
the existential part of ourself which is about our being. What is it to be human? Let me explain it this way. Ordinarily, if I ask a human being, who are you? Or if you ask me who I am, where do I look for the answer? Anybody know? Where do I look? Externally. Externally. I look outside of myself. More importantly, I look at my history, my past. Am I my memory? No. No. No, we're not. But most of us actually do think and live as if we are our memory. Hmm. So when we do that, we're literally not being a human being. We're not being in the moment. What we have done is we have taken our past out of our past and put it where our being should be and also project that into the future. So what I have is literally a machine running from yesterday into tomorrow and no being exists. Wow. To wow. be a human being is the most precious thing on this planet. Yeah. When we are not being a human being, we're simply our memories. We're simply being a cloud of ailments and grievances complaining about the world and not about itself to make us happy. The joy in life, the true joy, the true zest, the true vitality, the true spirit is to be here now. To be with what is. Whatever is occurring right here, right now, that is what it is to be human. Now, to really get it profoundly, to really get it, like it took me two years to get it. I believe as well it took Jesus Christ 40 days and 40 nights in the desert to get it. I believe it took the Buddha six years in the wilderness to get it. It may not even take you that long, or it could, I don't know. But being about that journey to discover the fifth capacity of what it is to be human <coughs> is the most beautiful journey there is. I have dedicated my life to helping myself live on this journey and to help others who are interested to live on this journey. It is the most beautiful gift that I have given myself. It is the most beautiful gift that I can give to any human being. And I am delighted to share this gift with anyone who is interested to do so. Um, I do seminars right here in the city and around the world. If anyone's interested, you know, you can find me. My name is Gordon Kizendi, and it is such a pleasure to share with you from this stage today. I completely love you, and I'm happy to have you. Thank you. experience with me. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Okay. So let's share with you ordinarily how we can shift our vibration like this. Like immediately on point we have the power every day to switch. So let me explain that to you. Ordinarily what we do is we take our yesterday self, our victim self or our fearful self and we bring it into today. That's what most of us do. I'm going to give you five seconds or ten seconds to experience that. Just exaggerate it for the, for the effect of it. Just stand up and shake somebody's hands, being your victim self. And let's say, have that experience. Does everyone just stand up? Just for exaggeration's sake. Yes, sure. Someone's hands, being your victim self. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I guess that's now, not okay. Sorry. How does that feel? Lousy. It doesn't feel good. No. But why do we go through life living like this? Why do we do that? Now, when we do that, what we're simply doing, we're in our thoughts, we're in our feelings, and we're acting it out. There is a completely different way to live. 
When you choose to live from your being, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, and your word does not influence you. Guess where the influence comes from? Universe. From your being. There is an inner resource in each and every one of us that we can tap into. And I'm going to show you today how you can tap into that inner resources with the power of your will and the power of your being. I have, a, I have a unique anchor that I use. And before I go on stage, before I interact with anyone, I come to myself. What is the maximum potential of this moment? Everyone, let's say that with me. What, what is, is the maximum potential, potential of this moment? moment? The moment. Remember, to be human being means you live in the moment. moment. And this is what I do in each moment that I'm going to do something. I say five, four, three, two, one, yes! Yes. yes. And I go for it. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time and then you're going to do it the third time with me. It goes like, this is an anchor. Everyone, it's an anchor that you know when you do this, you're getting anchored into your power. You're getting ready for peak performance. You're ready for the maximum potential of the moment. It goes like this. Five, four, three, two, one, yes! Now the third time you're going to do it with me. And I really want you now to anchor yourself. You're going to get into your anchor, into your power, your personal power. You're going to feel it in your bones, in your body, in your minds. It goes like this. Everybody, five, four, three, two, one, yes! yes. Want to feel it? Can you feel it? Yes! yes. No, that's your anchor. Every time that you are getting ready to give the maximum potential of your moment, you're going to say that. Now, you don't have to say it out loud every time. You can just do it inside of you. <laughs> Everybody got it? Yes. You can get it. Yes? Yes. OK, so we're going to do it one more time. I want you all to put your heart, your soul, your body into it. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Five, four, three, two, one, yes. OK, so anchoring yourself in that way, you are now going to shift yourself into a higher vibration. You are a child of this universe. You're no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be on this planet. Right. Yes. 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 It's your birthright. Yes. Yes. You came here for a purpose. Yes. yes. Got it? So now, being in that anchor, you've now anchored yourself. You are going to now use 10 seconds to meet two people with your powerful self. You're going to make this memorable. What is the maximum potential of this moment? Everyone, you're going to get up now. And you're going to be two people around you, being in the maximum potential of this moment. <laughs> oh my god, that was Everybody you're meeting now is for the first time. You live in the moment, you go home, you're seeing your wife for the very first time. Is that clear? 
I love the question you asked. How are you, dear? No. What's the question you asked? What is the maximum potential in this moment? What is, come on, everybody. What is the maximum potential in this moment? So you go home, you have seen her for the very first time. You're seeing your husband, your spouse for the very first time. You open the door, it comes to your mind. What the maximum potential of this moment? Five, four, three, two, one, one yes! yes! <laughs> and magic occurs. Literally, magic. Your entire life can live magically, yes. powerfully, magically. Now, this is what you do is you want to take your you want to take your your vibration from here to here. I'll share with you a little thing that I do. And this is something I do. I'm going to come on stage. Of course, what's the question I ask myself? What's the maximum potential for this woman? So I go into the bathroom where no one can see me. I find a space where no one's going to see me. I'm going to share with you my secret. Remember, you want to anchor yourself. And I have just 45 seconds to close. you got to make this 45 seconds be the maximum potential. So this is what you do. In that 45 seconds, everybody, you Five, four, three, two, one, you gather yourself together and you use your entire body, your mind, your heart, your soul, everything in it. And you do this ten times. Yes, 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 yes! Yes! yes. 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 So, are you brave enough to do that with me? Yes! yes. Tell ya! Yes. yes! Five, four, four three, two, three, two, one, let's go! Yes. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Courtney is just a phenomenal, phenomenal speaker. You've witnessed it for yourself. So I want you to do me a favor. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And if you want to book Courtney to be your keynote speaker at your next event, please comment below. Please comment below to book Courtney at, as your speaker at your next event.